I think the most important thing is the better you are at cracking doors, uh, there's no way to you know, Google can reject you. <laughs> so I've been working in tech for about 15 years. Something I regret, I didn't really do well when I look back is I interviewed at Facebook and Google. Now that you're on the other side, interviewing software engineers, what do the successful ones do? That's a good question. Uh... Hey, what's up? Today we're at Google headquarters asking software engineers how they got into Google and how you can too. Let's get into it. And make sure you watch till the end because most of these engineers have over 10 years of experience and interview candidates like you every single day. Today, they finally reveal all their secrets. Thanks to gptbots.ai for sponsoring this video. Hey, what's your name? Shivam. Shivam? Yeah. Nice to meet you. How long have you been at Google and what is your title? I'm Manager of System Development Engineering. I've been part of Google for three and a half years. Hi, I'm Kate. Kate, nice to meet you. Um, I'm a little under two years and I'm a software engineer at Google. Virendra. I am an engineering manager here. I have been two years. It's and then what is your favorite benefit or perk? Food. <laughs> Free food? <laughs> yeah, lunches, breakfast. I love it. <laughs> okay, nice. Oh, I like that there are a lot of offices internationally. So when mm -hmm. I travel, I can work from different cities. And then what has been your favorite memory so far? I guess my uh, teammate hosted a really nice team dinner recently. Um, mm. He's from uh, Greece, so it was like all sorts of Greek food. Building products, so mostly, I mean, everything is memorable according to me, like every day is memorable. So, and how, uh, did you, how did you get into Google? So I was part of a startup called Cloud Simple, and I got acquired by Google in late 2019. Mm -hmm. So got here as part of acquisition. So I studied computer science in college um, and then I actually interned at Google uh, first through the STEP program. It used to be called engineering practicum and then I became a software engineering intern and I continued on as a student researcher um, and then afterwards uh, I decided to just come back so I went through the re uh, returning intern and like conversion pipeline. I got interviewed, I qualified and that's how I am. What, what did, like where did you apply? What were the interviews like? They reached out to me I was uh, at a startup company uh, before Google and then after a year of conversation I thought okay I'll interview and I interviewed at Facebook and Google okay. I got through both of them and chose Google and now that you're at Google probably interviewing prospective Googlers mm -hmm. what do you look for and what do successful applicants do um, I think the most important thing is to be able to talk through your thought process as you're interviewing so you need to make sure to be able to convey what you're thinking at each point and to communicate that clearly so that interviewers can see not just like whether or not you're able to solve a problem but also how you approach a ambiguous problem. Got it. And then what did you use to prepare? Like what types of stuff did you do to get ready for the interviews? Um, personally, I did uh, leak code and then um, also uh, cracking the coding interview. Have you ever interviewed people like while you were at Google? Yeah. And what do those interviews look like? Do you have any tips? Uh, so mostly we focus on the basic stuff. Uh, so we dig deeper into the core of uh, everything like you should be well versed with basics and we feel that your basics should be so strong enough so, so that you can work on anything at the advanced layer so that's what we focus on got it and then last question do you have any advice for someone aspiring to be a software engineer and get into google think about reliability scalability and and long-term solutions rather than focusing on short-term and and small solutions so think about large user base for a particular problem i think that's what i would suggest yeah, I guess, I mean, the usual things, you know, data structure algorithms, system design, I think you just need to be better at it and crack the interview. I, I think it's, it's not very secret anymore, but the better you are at cracking those, uh, there's no way to, you know, Google can reject you. <laughs> Any advice on passing the resume screen, like how to differentiate yourself? You're a manager, you might be looking at applicants. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just just be yourself, you know, put it, put your best way forward, uh, best uh, face forward, right? Uh, that's all they know about you. They can't know everything about you, so put the best things what you have in their resume so that when somebody looks at it, they want to talk to you. Jimmy. Jimmy, nice to meet you. Five years, I am a just a senior software engineer. Uh, my name is Nakul. I've been at Google a little more than four years now so I'm a software engineer. How did you get into Google? Well so out of college I actually worked at another company called MathWorks for a while. Mm. They make like MATLAB and stuff yeah. and then I was looking around like a year and a half after that and then I passed the interviews and here I am. I had just started sort of started my career at I was at Cisco uh, okay. it was like two years out yeah I just needed a little bit of change and move into a generic software I was like doing a lot of networking uh, stuff over there so I wanted to come more into general software. Like and both. now that you're on the other side interviewing software engineers what 
do the successful ones too. It comes down to communication a lot, being able to explain your thought process, and I, I do think that there's something to be said for practicing, at least in my experience, it definitely helped the interview process to do practice problems on my own beforehand, so I would recommend doing that for okay. sure. Oh, um, I, I like uh, candidates who kind of build the solution like slowly, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like not delve, like ob obviously clarify like the bigger perspective of the problem. Uh, but come up with the solution and see if that works because a lot of the times you don't need a complicated solution. Yes. And then last question, do you have yeah. any advice for people trying to become software engineers maybe at a big time company like Google? There's no specific advice I'd offer other than I think it is easier to go like the traditional like college route. I know that like a lot of the boot camp stuff is big these days and that's a great way to do it too. The easiest path is through college and through, you know, relevant internet internship experience I'd say okay. but I would also say that's not the only way to do it so I think there are people who get interested in it when they're 35 or later as well and I think that's great too you can do it either way getting into Google is more of like basics again okay the only thing that worked is like having fundamentals right mm. so that's like one advice I think Google values like fundamentals and the best engineers stay on top of the latest and greatest technologies the biggest one these days being chat GPT and other LLM AI models today's sponsor GPT bots AI not only supports one-click access to mainstream LLMs, but also supports other custom open source models. They allow you to create tailor-made AI bots for your business. By picking a model and then uploading documents, you can essentially harness the power of AI, but specifically for your company. For example, let's say you have a bookstore specializing in Hans Christian Andersen stories. By training your bot on his previous work, your potential customers can ask your bot questions. Like, can you summarize The Ugly Duckling, one of his most famous stories? More than just different LLM models, GPT Bots also offers a plugin marketplace where you can find a large number of open source plugins. And if you want private enterprise level plugins based on your company's own data and services, they've also got you covered. The process to get started is easy. Simply make an account, open developer mode, and then create your own bot. With a stunning visual interface, you can easily drag and drop components and connect them to create sophisticated flows. You then upload knowledge bases and documents, train your bot through conversation, and then publish it for the world to use. Check out GPT bots using my special link in the description. Now let's get back to some more advice from Google software engineers. Hi, what's your name? Hi, Keelan. Nice Keelan? to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. How long have you been at Google and what is your title? I have been at Google for about a year and a half and my title is Product Manager in Vertex Cloud AI. So I work on our AI ML platform. So Min Wang, been Google for almost two years. And what is your title? Uh, software engineer. Yep. And how did you actually get the job? What did that look like? Uh, so I applied during, you know, end of 2021, so it's still pandemic. Mm. So, you know, at that time, all the tech companies kind of like over hiring. Yeah. So a lot of other people, including me, got hired during that period. How did you get into Google and then maybe PM? Um, so I've been working in tech for about 15 years. Originally, I was working at startups, um, actually more on the sales and customer success side. Um, and then I got kind of burned out on that and went back to school for computer science. Okay. And then um, I transitioned over to product about five years ago, was at a couple startups for a while, and then uh, went to Google. What has been your favorite software engineering memory so far? You have quite a lot of support, mm. both in terms of uh, you can always reach out to your colleagues whenever you need help, or you have a huge database of documents that you can just search through and find solution. Something I regret I didn't really do well when I look back is that finding your passion early on is always beneficial. Mm. Technical skills, all the other things, you can acquire them after. Maybe you start late compared to others, but it's okay. I think that good PMs are really good at bridging the uh, constraints and possibilities on the technical side versus the business requirements. Okay. Essentially sort of frame that up in a way that the business teams can actually sell it. Do you have any advice for aspiring people trying to break into Google, especially maybe women in tech? Yeah, I, I think that on the technical side, actually the people in my experience that are the most successful tech, uh, technical practitioners are usually also good at um, working with non-technical stakeholders, I think this is sort of an under-heralded skill um, because if you are not a good communicator and you're not good at communicating with people that do not know as much as you do as a technical expert, you're going to have a really hard time translating those ideas into like products that get shipped into the world. So it's like great to know how to code and be you know awesome at technical things, but um, being able to actually communicate those things to people that don't know much about the technology behind them is really important. Hey, what's up? Today we're asking 